Hey guys, hope everyone's having an awesome day so far. For today's video, I am going to be watching the 2016 war film, action, or drama film, Hacksaw Ridge, starring Andrew Garfield. I don't know anything about this movie. I, I don't, I just know that it's a war film. I think it's, it's a war film, so I'm assuming it's sad. My impression from seeing any of it is that Andrew Garfield is kind of like a very uncertain, unsure soldier. I don't know what war it is. Um, I think it's more modern. I feel like maybe like the last like 20 years, 40 years maybe, I don't know. So we're gonna see it going in. I just know that he looked kind of uncertain in his like gear, but I haven't seen any actual clips from it, I think. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If by chance you're interested in supporting me, the link to my Patreon will be down below in the description. Check that out if that's something you're interested in. There you'll have my complete unedited full length commentary, reviews, reaction, everything. And then actually I post a lot where I'll just, I'll ask you guys what should I watch and then I'll just pick a random movie or a show right out of the comments and then I'll choose that so I might choose what you recommend. So if you are interested in doing that, be sure to check out my Patreon. I would really appreciate it. It does help so much. So without further ado, let's get into Hacksaw Ridge. That doesn't sound like a good thing now that I'm like, <laughs> sound like a good title. I'm gonna have my tissues. <laughs> I'm gonna have these just in case, okay? <laughs> Are you guys ready? Three, two, one, go. I'm gonna be honest with you, I haven't really seen many Andrew Garfield films, um, but I did see him in Spider-Man. I was kind of like avoiding him and seeing him in Spider-Man really made me love him as an actor. And then I started watching some interviews with him and I like him, I really like his demeanor. So I'm actually very excited to see this movie with him. Um, I have begun, to admire him. Okay. The font is very like American. I don't know how to explain it. This looks like a period piece. Okay. Oh no. Okay. This looks like World War II, to be honest. Creator of the ends of the earth and his understanding, no one can fathom. The flamethrowers, yeah, I believe this is World War II. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. Hang on, Desmond! Wait up! Catch up! Brace you to be top. Hey, cheater! That's, yeah, that's cheating. I hope Desmond trips you. See you later, little poke. Hey! Want a hand? I got it. Don't quit it! You quit it! <laughs> Maybe don't fight on top of this mount mountainous... You rock face. It's them dolls, kids. Crazy as their old man. They so wait. dug up the corner of Jackson and Maine. Is that... Putting in the sidewalk. Is that Hugo Weaving? I didn't know he was in this movie. Okay. Well, that's all I got for you today. Just, I'm just gonna watch. This is my entertainment. What are they fighting about? Now, when they ever need a reason. Hey, Tom, do... I mean, they're kids. They always do this. Who does... Who... Who didn't do this as a kid? <gasps> oh! What the hell are you doing? He can't hear me. You're joking. Did he just? No, bro. Yes, man. Tom, stop. You tell him the world's a soft and gentle place. Hell's gonna be okay. Oh, okay, good. All right. I was gonna say they would have, you know, I think been a lot more harsh if he. I hate him. Mama? The son's violent, because look at the dad! Why does he hate us so much? I wish you knew him like I did before the war. I see. Oh, so we're just going back like decades, huh? Now we're at, what, 30 years? I'm so f conf Wait. No, this is after. I thought that we were going back earlier even more. I thought that it was. Oh, I didn't. Maybe I, I didn't read that right. I'm so stupid. I feel dumb. Oh! <gasps> <gasps> My lord. Okay, there's gonna be gore, isn't there? There's gonna be. Of course, it's a war movie. There will be gore. Stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought it was like 16 years earlier. So when they were children, she's like before the war, and then we're gonna go down, go back 15 years even earlier to see how the dad was before. But then it's 15. Years later, the year before they went for the war. Got it. Where can I 
He's so young, so little here. How has he always looked so young? I feel like he still looks young and I just found out he's almost 40. How? Give me those genetics. Army physicals that way, this is for giving blood. What do you need? My belt. I don't have your belt. I'm just here to take blood. I'll give you mine. I go to that room over there and wait with the others. That room. He's so cute. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Why do you guys let me watch these movies when you know I have such a fear of and My friends things? call me Desmond. No, ma'am. My first time. I'd be a little dizzy when we're done. Somebody picking you up? No, ma'am. Walking back. Where do you live? Give Fort her Hill, ma'am. Give her your address. Five or six miles. I cut through the woods. <laughs> Must really like the woods. Yes, ma'am, sure do. Oh my gosh, I actually Where love this. Where are you this. going looking all spruced and nice? Nurse over at the hospital, her name's Dorothy Shooty. I'm gonna marry her. Goodness, does she know that? She's about to. Come give your brother a big hug. Yeah. I'm here. Keep your greasy paws off of me. This is so cute. I'm tearing. Wait, I like love, 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 love stories. And he looks genuinely so happy. I've been in a big like love mood. Where it's just like, I don't know. I feel like we've been watching a lot of movies with like a lot of love in it. It's making me in my feels, so. You ever given blood before? Yes, ma'am, I have. Desmond, we can't take your blood two days in a row. That's good. Came to get mine back. <laughs> Ever since you stung me with that needle, my heart's been beating real fast. Every time I think about you, it beats faster still. I never heard that one before. No good. Wait, like, this is so cute. Stop. I didn't say that. What's the difference between an artery and a vein? Arteries spur blood. And veins? Bleed. I think you need to practice your boy-girl date and talk at home before you come out. I'll give you a book if you're that interested. On dating? <laughs> <laughs> on blood. <laughs> give, give him a dating one, too. Another medical question, perhaps? No, I just think you're the prettiest thing I've ever seen. He's gonna join the war effort, isn't he? Stop, stop. No, okay, the tears have come already. Oh, too early, too early, stop. <sighs> you need to watch where you're going. Oh, wow. She said no. I thought you might have liked it. Well, I might have if you'd asked. You coming? <laughs> oh, rough, 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 rough. Why didn't you say nothing to us? Looks like a movie star. Nice uniform. Reminds me of how Artie here. Gittins looked in his uniform when we went to France. Oh, no. Don't remind him of the war. I just hope that when our Hal gets shot, it's through the front of his jacket. I'm in love with both of them. Like, like, I, I, they, they're couple goals. What are you, part mountain goat? Yes. I help you, but it's gonna cost you. Say yeah, yes. Deal. Oh, hold on now. <laughs> you ain't gonna slap me, are you? <laughs> Kiss me and find out. What? I have to enlist. I won't be a medic. No. I have to go to work. I'm gonna be late. So are you gonna ask me to marry you or what? Well, I'm asking you. Then yes. As soon as you get your first leave. Okay, well, I love you. <laughs> I don't want to have to visit my sons here. Daddy, I, I signed up already. Like, you gotta sit and think and pray about everything. Like, you won't be able to live with yourself if you go. No, I won't be able to live with myself if I don't. Great, great. We all need some air. Come on, fuck. I almost forgot. I want you to have this. Bye. I love you. I know he's doing it for his country. It's just after seeing what his dad is going through and like how it affected him. Gaze upon it in envy, my friend. <clears throat> Randall Fuller. Desmond Doss. Call him Teach. No one understands a word he says. The testicles there belong to a man calling himself Hollywood. <laughs> Bruce Nolan, out of Red Hook. Where are you from? Virginia. You marry your first cousin? <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just... Oh. Paul Kaczynski, nice to meet you. Desmond Doss. Attention! <laughs> oh, line up! Move it! Let's go! Move it! Move it! Oh, <laughs> Is that Vince Vaughn? What the heck is Vince Vaughn doing in this movie? This does not feel like a role for him. Let's see. What the fudge? 
Name? Andy Walker. How long have you been dead, son? Sir? I am Sergeant Howe or Sir! The name is Ghoul, you say? Walker, Sergeant! Ghoul it is! Oh, heck yeah. Rip him apart. Oh! Not even... What the heck? There's something off in your presentation, Private. I have a knife in my foot, Sergeant. What is your name, soldier? Spitty Riker. No, your name is Private Idiot. Who threw the knife? Private Krasinski. You look part Indian. I'm Polish. Wrong. Then I shall henceforth call you chief as a sign of great respect to your people. He's Polish, but yeah. Are you grinning at me, boy, or is that your natural state? That's his natural Sergeant. state. Desmond Dahl. I have seen stalks of corn with better... Oh, <laughs> get wrecked. Higher! <laughs> Move it! All right, just get in my uniform, Sarge. Should I ask him, too, Corporal? No memory of it, Sarge. Now move your privates, private parts. <laughs> That's so funny. He's still naked. <laughs> Iconic. The rabbit comes out of his hole, goes back into the hole. Let's go. Very good, Tex. You just fell 50 feet and broke your neck. What do we got here, Doss? You were tying a bowline, boy, not building a bra. Oh no. What is so funny, Corporal? It's funny because I feel like Andrew Garfield is the type of guy that like in high school and school he always like laughed at anything, any authority figure in trouble, always laughing. I felt like that in Spider-Man, I feel like that here. And I feel like he's still kind of playing himself where he's just kind of laughing at things. Join this genetic degenerate! <laughs> 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 Hustle. Nice work, dog. Nice. This is a personal gift from the United States government to each and every one of you. This is to be your lover. The only thing in life you'll ever truly love. Grab a girl. Why did they like refer to like any object as a girl back then? Place the weapon by your side. I was told I don't have to carry a weapon. I can't touch a gun. I thought he could at least touch it. Wait. He's a CO, sir. You're a conscientious objector. I'm a conscientious cooperator. Do you have any other requirements of the United States Army? He doesn't want to work on Saturday, sir. Saturday is my Sabbath, so I'm not allowed to work. Oof. <laughs> I'm putting you in for a Section 8 psychiatric discharge. You can't discharge him, right? Private Doss does not believe in violence. He's a conscientious objector. Do not look to him to save you on the battlefield. That's not true, Private, Sarge. As you were. It is what we men fight for, to protect our women and children, even if Private Doss's beliefs might cause women and children to die. That's not cool. He just wants to be a medic. He wants to be an assisting role, not really an inf infantry or anything. What you got here, Desi? For Pete's sake, Smitty, give him back his Bible. I don't remember speaking to you. It's how come you don't fight? But what if he was attacked? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I think this is cowardice, plain and simple. But he has anger issues. Remember? He's violent. Sorry, that's what they said earlier. Right there. But that's when he decided he'll never take a life or be violent. That moment with his little brother. Give me that. This is a fine looking broad. Now this would be the kind of broad that deserves a real man. Give me that back. Please. Please give it back, Smitty. He's such a dirtbag. He's so mean. Do you hear voices, Desmond? No, sir. I pray to God and I like to think he hears me, but it ain't a conversation. Was it was it God who told you not to pick up a He just explained that it wasn't <laughs> War is a completely different set of circumstances. This is Satan himself we're fighting. I can't see that, sir, and that is why I joined up. They do not constitute grounds for Section 8 discharge. He must be allowed to work as a combat medic. He throws God at you. You throw hell right at him. Just because he wants that's awful. They're targeting him just because he won't kill? I get it, they're gonna be like, oh, he's useless, he's no help, none of that, but he's a good guy, why don't you respect that? It's a pitch stop! There will be no passes this weekend! Everybody in full gear for a 20-mile hike! Let's go! He's gonna make everybody hate him, too. We're gonna keep going till I drop! Get off me! Why the hell are you still here? He just wants to do what he feels is right. He doesn't deserve all this hate. This is awful. This all actually happened? Where's Doss? This isn't good for anybody. It's time you quit this. There's no shame in this. I got extra guard duty, can't. All right, Doss. Can you identify the men that beat you? No, Sarge. He's no snitch. I never said I was attacked, Sarge. You bruised half your body sleeping. I, I sleep pretty hard. He respects that. He's he's no snitch. 
Respect. I'm afraid I can't authorize your pass. This is a furlough for men who have passed the basic training. Res respectfully, sir, I have. Says you're not rightful qualified. Show me you know how to handle a rifle, and I'll sign your furlough. This is awful. Refuse, and I will have no recourse but to court-martial you. And you will spend the duration of the war in a military prison. What? You, that's like you have no grounds for that. I can, sir. How much longer would you like to wait, Dorothy? I think it's been long enough. I believe in this book as much as any man. I'm only here because I don't want to see you rotting in a prison cell. Plead guilty. Maybe they'll let you go home and pray. He's brave for doing this, though. If anything, he's stronger than most of the guys out there. There must be some other way. I don't know what that could be. Proud and stubbornness. Don't confuse your will with the Lord's. But I don't know how I'm going to live with myself if I don't stay true to what I believe. I don't know what he's gonna do. He loses no matter what. Oh, thank you, Dorothy. Okay, so what I'm gathering so far is that this whole movie is about Desmond, who goes in with very strict be religious beliefs where he won't kill or har- he won't kill another human being. Get away from me, woman! So he won't kill another person, but he's going into war. He wants to support, he wants to be a medic, he wants to save lives, not take them. The entire military is about killing. That's kind of the stance, is like, you have to be the aggressor, you have to fight, you have to kill. He would just get in the way that they see him as a liability, if anything. To speak to Brigadier General Musgrove. So, not without an appointment, you can't. That would be quite impossible. He was my captain. Amen. This is a hearing into the matter of Private Desmond Doss. The charge is disobeying a series of direct orders from his commanding officer. How says the defendant? Private Doss wishes to enter a not guilty plea. Proceed. Proceed. You okay? Yes. Okay, now you go take this in there. I can't. Strictly military personnel. I love that they get along. When the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, I took it personal. It isn't right that other men should fight and die that I would just be sitting at home safe. I got the energy and the passion to serve as a medic. While everybody else is taking life, I'm gonna be saving it. He does have the passion for it. So I need to show you this. With respect, sir, you are no longer a member of the military. You fight for your country, you lose so much that was dear to you, and then you're done with it. You know there are laws here. Sir, I know the law, and I know my son is protected by those laws. Let me have the letter. That's not fair. He's absolutely right. You, you give basically your life. You're never the same after that, and then they just discard you? The defendant's rights as a conscientious objector are protected by an act of Congress. Colonel? Get wrecked. Private Doss, you are free to run into the hellfire of battle without a single weapon to protect yourself. That is crazy, but crazy brave. I begin training as a combat medic. Very nice. Now go get married, please. You deserve it. To the girl of your dreams. <sighs> Where is he? I begged him to stay. I, I told him you'd want no, to see him. When you get home, you tell him I love him. Okay. There's so much, like, love in his eyes. I just, oh my gosh, so cute. You better come home with me. I could never, I could never. I can't even see a dead animal on the road without paying respects. Not even kidding. Like, I genuinely do the... All clear, sword! We've been assigned to you, sir. You do us? Herb Schechter. About the only medics we got left in this area. What's it like? Hacksaw. We climbed up six times. Six times they threw us off. The jabs deliberately target the wounded. What? Lose all your Red Cross markings. Actually, I didn't know that. Is that true? That's the most dishonorable thing you can do in war. Like, that's that was like rule number one is you don't go after the medics. That's disrespectful to the- That has to be fake. I don't believe that. There's no way they can't. That's extremely dishonorable. So it's Hacksaw Ridge. Doss loves climbing! He's gonna love this! Make way. Stop it. Out of the way. How did they know? Put your head right here. Come with me, Jen. 
Excuse me, what? Oh, okay. You hurt? I'm fine. You see all this chaos happening? How do you know who to help? How do you know who to help and who not to help? Oh, and you have to work so fast. I got I got He's not gonna last a day. No, don't leave me. I ain't going anywhere. Imagine that. We got it, we got it. Here. He'll be dead before we get him down. You don't know that! Okay, it's alright, buddy. He would be dead if it wasn't for Doss. He would be dead because nobody else would have wanted to deal with him because of his, uh, his severe wounds. If we can't see them, then they can't see us neither! I got you, Frank! Where you hit? Oh, what? Ah, over there! You doing okay? Okay. Oh, nice. Let's go. Wait, that really, like, that was a great shot. Fire! Go! Go, Spenny! We'll cover you! Stick it, cool. He's not gonna make it. He's not gonna make it. He's too close. They're gonna see him. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky snake! How did he survive that? I feel like a big chunk of, you know, concrete would hit him. Shoot! Oh, smart to have him cover it though. Would that actually work? Would that? He's alive, he's alive. Okay. You gotta bump on the head, that's okay. I thought he was gonna kiss it, make it better. Also known as Ghoul. Ghoul. Good job, man. Throughout all of this, he's still positive, and he gives them a reason to keep going. It ain't safe to go out there alone. Where the hell you going, Doc? Still more wounded out there, Sarge. I'll go with him. Hey, we got an abdominal wound. Ambulance. <sighs> the, the fact that he's able to keep calm too, like. Should we find a home again? Sound good to me. Put your helmet on. You know you're fighting out of your weight class with her, don't you? Don't tell her that. <laughs> I'll take first watch. That was a dream. Dreamed I got myself scared. My daddy's a drunk. At least you knew when mine could have been any one of ten guys, none of them are worth a damn. So your mama raised you? But she gave me to an orphanage when I was five. That's why he's so tough. My daddy used to beat me and my brother just because the sun rose and then whip us just because it set. But when he would do it to our mama. Stop it! Stop! So that's when I made my promise to God I ain't never oh. gonna touch a gun again. Oh, with the gun, okay. Killing was with his brother. This is Baker 6. Request immediate support. I call an artillery strike. Fall back. There's too many of them. You have to. I feel like Doss is going to find himself in a very similar situation. He already has, but like, no one's going to be there to protect him. I think something like that's going to happen. Get out of here, kid. Come here, son. Give it to him. Over there. We got to move right now. What? guys suck i don't like that they did that i know they're trying to win but like we're not on your side okay bro stop stop that's so scary oh they could just like attach themselves to you and they don't even care they're with you at that last moment their life they is gone and Go help the pain. <gasps> don't, don't you do that. Come on. Help me get him down. Yeah. He's gone. No. We gotta get out of here. Go. Go. Otherwise, he was being carried. What is it you want of me? I don't understand. All right. There's no way he's going in on an artillery strike. Right with Ford, how many? 32 only came down, sir. 
He's still up there. No one else is. He's, he's really looking for the wounded. We, we gonna fix you up. We just gotta keep breathing. You two stay here, keep watch, keep your eyes peeled for Jack. You just sit tight, okay? A lot of trust in a knot. In the in the bra knot. There's no way he's just. Oh, he's just she's just pushing him down. Is it oh wow, okay. Alright. I'm sorry, but imagine being the people down there and being like. What? Ah! Hold on, one of ours, hold on! Call off your artillery attack on Axor. Look, we just lost our cover. That actually happened. Still has a big enough heart to help them because it's still saving a life. Panic I can't see. Post down now. Try now. Try now. He's gonna make a great. I thought he was blind. Doss has been working overtime. All right, guys. Here we got you. Please, Lord, help me get one more. He really did this? He saved all of these people? Help me get one more. One more. Where are the hell are these guys coming from? Some nuts up there dragging wounded from the top. Ah! 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 Corn stock. It looks much worse than it is. You girls will still won't kiss you. <laughs> you okay here for a while? Get out of here. Ah! Now he knows how much they needed him. How he was worth it. He was worth it. Something you gotta see. How'd you get down, son? It's off. Just keep throwing stuff. He's gonna keep shooting. Haven't wasted his bullets. <laughs> Jump on it. This is gonna be the bumpiest ride of his life. We got company! Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. If if this was if this wasn't war right now, like this would be fun to do as like with friends, airsoft or something. You gotta be kidding me, Corn. You're tying a bowline, boy, not building a bra. Get up! Uh, Ouch! On his leg too. Actually, so sad. Let's get this soldier to a hospital tent right now. I feel like they finally recognize him, like as a soldier, as one of them too. You've done more than any other man could have done in the service of his country. I hope one day you can forgive me. Oh. Even in war, his hair is so big. I realize that tomorrow is your Sabbath. And they're not gonna go up there without you. We're waiting, sir. Waiting for what? Private Doss to finish praying for us, sir. Who the hell is Private Doss? Oh, you'll know soon enough. <laughs> Let's go to work. Wasn't that deemed like the worst thing you could possibly do in Japan like back then? <gasps> yup! It was, yeah, it was, it's a trick. That's a dirty trick. That's a really dirty trick. Yeah, slap it, yeah. Yeah, kick. Uh, uh. Lay down, lay down, lay down. I got some more. Oh, and that's where we are back in the beginning. My bubble. My bubble. Okay. <laughs> We 
We've taken an axe off. <laughs> they couldn't have taken it without him. Not only did he like save so many lives, but he was a big morale booster that made them want to keep fighting. Desmond Doss carried 75 wounded men to safety on Hacksaw Ridge. He was the first conscientious objector to receive the Medal of Honor, America's highest award for courage under fire. Desmond and Dorothy were married until her death in 1991. I just kept praying, Lord, please help oh, me get one peace. more. Even though I said those things to him in regard to carrying a rifle, and then to have him end up saving my life was <laughs> the irony of yeah. the whole thing. I took water from my canteen and got some bandage. He just lit up. He says, I thought I was blind. That smile he gave me, I'd have been well repaid. His adults passed away at the age of 87, March 2006. Oh. Mel Gibson directed this? Wow, I didn't... I knew this was based on a true story, but I didn't know it was about belief and, and passion and... All this bravery, like, I mean, obviously, bravery, but, like, that is, those circumstances are wild. That's amazing. What a hero. So I just finished watching Hacksaw Ridge for the very first time, and I have to say, wow. This entire concept was essentially DOS. He went to war. He went and enlisted. He volunteered, knowing how his father felt, what the trauma that his father endured, and how he turned out. And he was like, I'm not gonna be like that. And, and regardless of him possibly going through all that, he thought that it was his duty to fight for his country. You know, Doss didn't give up on these people, and he was not planning to. Like, you had the other medics being like, nope, he's not gonna make it. It's not even worth it. And Doss was like, nope, we're not doing that. We're saving every single person that we can. But it showed that he valued human life life above all else else i cannot even fathom being in such a situation because i feel like if you're in war all you think about is destroying the other people the, you don't even think about the other people the other side as people because of how much damage destruction they're doing to you and it's it's kill or be killed but he had enough compassion and grace to look beyond that destruction look beyond that and and save people his character was not about killing, but going above and beyond, and, and and it was really touching. I felt like the love scene was... I, Andrew Garfield stole the show with his acting. The way he was looking at her, like Dorothy, I... My heart, one day, one day, like, it, it was so pure and sweet, and he was such a kind soul, and you can tell that in the very beginning of the film, it showed that he has such a kind soul, and it is such a beautiful story, and... Doss is a true hero, and I think Andrew Garfield did a wonderful job. He is like pleasantly surprising me more and more, like I gotta say. Thank you guys so much for voting for it and, and recommending it. This is a film that I've been wanting to watch for quite some time. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone!